Welcome to the Hacksplaining video tutorial series. When building a website, you need to be sure you do not accidentally create a channel that allows malicious JavaScript to be bounced off your server, a reflected cross-site scripting attack. Previously, we saw how some cross-site scripting XSS vulnerabilities allow attackers to store malicious JavaScript in your database, which will be executed when other users view your site. There is another way attackers can use XSS to inject malicious JavaScript, called a reflected XSS attack. If your website takes any part of the HTTP request from a user and displays it back to them, you could be enabling another vector by which a malicious third party could inject JavaScript. Let's see how. Mal is a hacker who has noticed that your site's search function passes search terms in the URL. He knows the search terms in the URL will get displayed back on the search results page, and he wonders if they're escaped properly. To test this, he crafts a URL with a snippet of JavaScript in the search parameter. Sure enough, when he drops the URL in his browser, the injected JavaScript is executed and the browser redirects to his malicious site. Now he has to trick someone into navigating to that URL, someone like Vic. Mal sends Vic an email with a very tempting link, pointing at the crafted URL. Vic clicks on the link. The page renders the search parameter in the HTML without escaping it properly which creates a new tag on the page. The script is executed immediately when the page loads. And Vic gets redirected to Mal's malicious website. Mal can now check his server log and hijack Vic's session, since the malicious redirect passed his session ID in the URL. Reflected cross-site scripting attacks are extremely common. Click on the link to learn how to protect yourself, or move on to the next video.